Good morning traders and welcome to today's live trading. Today is the 3rd of May, it's a Thursday and as usual we are on the FTSE 100. So to quickly run you through my analysis for the morning, um, you can see that we're currently sat around the sort of 7520 level with um, an hourly band above and a 4 hour band below. Um, I think basically what I'm looking for this morning is for price to move up into this band here maybe spike just above it and then uh, hopefully give us a sell signal and I'd like to take that looking down towards uh, this band here around the 7500 level um, price had a little bit of a correction yesterday you can see as we've been moving higher for a while now um, we did have somewhat of a, a pullback yesterday um, I'm hoping to see a little bit of um, a continuation really of that today so uh, hence that's that's the plan that I've got at the moment now obviously if this doesn't do what I'm looking for then it's unlikely I'm just going to just short it just for the fun of it just because I, I'd like to see it come down a little bit um, we have to see the right price action so um, what could happen is it could come all the way up into this band um, and I'd still be happy to look for shorts from this band um, or annoyingly it could just come straight down for this band here in which case um, I actually would be uh, happy to look for longs so it's all set up pretty well actually this morning it'd have to be really um, really annoying for it to get to a band where I don't have a particular preference um, so we should get a trade hopefully quite early on so uh, we're just over under 15 minutes till the open I'm going to grab myself a drink and uh, I'll see you again after the market has opened. So we've gone half past nine now, we're about 25 to 10. Um, and I think this is the first update actually since I started the video. So I just wanted to run you through basically the price action that we've seen so far. Um, we did get this move up that I was talking about this morning. It's gone right through this band though and into the band above. And we were getting sort of sell pin bars of a sort. Um, you can see there's a bit of a lower wick on these and they're not that big. Um, and also in conjunction with that, the reason I didn't take them. Now those pin bars by themselves aren't terrible and in the right situation can be taken. Um, but I just didn't like the, um, the lower wicks on them. And that added with... You can see at, um, here we are, the 8 o'clock bar. It did come down. It did test the ATMA, but it finished right in this band. It finished a mile away from um, from the ATMA. And with such a move away from it, I would expect a reaction at the ATMA next time that it got there. You can see we've not quite got there, I don't think, on this hour. But um, it looks like... If it carries on moving up, it will look like the ATMA reached the uh, price there as because it'll um, point upwards a little bit more um, and it will look like it reacted from it. Um, so it, it came cl close enough basically to react from it and that's the reason why I didn't want to take the short trade. My target would have been down into this band um, knowing that the signal wasn't great itself. Um, also... The reaction there those two things just add up to not a particularly good um, a good setup really so um, as far as trades go now we have edged higher um, and we did have news at half past nine let's not forget I think it was the services PMI uh, yes so that's out of the way now um, so if it wants to give me a good sell signal from up in this band I'm, I'm all for it we've we've had the test now um, so it's good to move past the ATMA uh, also we don't have a close through the ATMA on the 4 hourly yet um, although at the end of this hour if price stays up uh, up above let's say the um, the 200 here then it will close through the, the uh, ATMA on the 4 hour chart but uh, for now there is still scope for a move down if we get a sell signal then we could be on for a sell if not, then um, to be honest, I would rather see price move above this band, return and give me a buy signal uh, with a possible view of looking up towards the band up at 7570. 
Um, but I'll keep watching for now and I'll keep you posted. Right, so we've just gone half past ten and I'm actually going to put a sell order below this pin bar, this large pin bar that we've had just here. Uh, the low is 47.3, so I'm going to put mine in at uh, 75, 75, uh, 46.1, just double check that, what did I say, 47.3, so yeah, 46.1, and open the order, so there's an order just below this, this uh, pin bar now, now I'm not totally excited about this trade setup to be honest um, we there's a couple of th there's too many things for it for me to ignore um, we're, we're into these sort of this this real interest level here look uh, around if I extend this line we're coming just look straight into this this area here and that's where we've reacted from now previously we've either bounced from here or we've sold away from it so it's a good level um, I don't like that we're as much above this band as we are, but that can't be helped. And also, um, if I quickly bring you over to the hourly chart, you can see that we're having a, a bit of a move up here um, at the moment, and I'm not totally keen on that. Um, you can see that we've reacted really nicely from the ATMA. I was saying earlier that it didn't actually touch this ATMA within this hour, but when the candle closes, it now looks like it comfortably touched the ATMA when it didn't in real time. Um, but sometimes you've just got to sort of preempt that. Um, you know, once you start, if you do use moving averages, you get used to that. Um, so that's basically what I'm looking at at the moment. Um, as far as target wise, it will just be back down towards this this lower band, possibly this red line and the 200 at the moment. Um, the stop will go just above this high uh, at 57.8. So I'm going to change that now. Uh, modify, I'm going to take it over so you can see what I'm doing, stop loss, what did I say, 57.8, pop that in there, submit. Um, so that's that, so if this carries, if it starts to come down, should I say, then we will be triggered, in fact there we are, we're in the trade, so I can bring the ticket across, um, and yeah, we're looking for a move down there, I don't foresee this being a quick one, but you never know. Uh, we might get a few sort of consolidation patches and maybe you know bounces back upwards. There's there's a bit in the way, um, but we'll see how this one runs. Right, so the trade's moving down okay at the moment. Um, you can see we're just having um, like I thought we might get this little sort of. Um, bounce if you like uh, you can see that we there's a little bit of a trend line here just on the last few hours um, and that's what we're testing at the moment you would expect um, some reaction at that point there's also like if you map, if you map them across uh, the closes of uh, the uh, the two points there you can see we had a little bit of reaction at that one as well um, now this is sort of uh, this is this is the interesting candle, I guess. Um, just looking up at the hourly, we're getting close down to the ATMA. I will be looking to exit probably around 35-ish. Um, that's looking like where the ATMA is currently sat. I'm not going to push this too far. Um, I can get rid of these for now. So yeah, it's moved quite well. Um, I'll show you the hourly chart quickly. So yeah, you can see the blue line here. It's a little bit difficult to see, maybe, but uh, the blue line there. We're just. We look. It looks like we've touched. I would expect this to come a little bit lower. Um, like I say, just a few points lower down to sort of the 35 level, just below this 200, uh, just above this 200, um, and that's where I would look to exit this trade. I think. I don't think we're going to get. Well, if it is going to bounce from this sort of level, I don't think we're going to get too much of a flush down into the band for example I think it's probably uh, this is looking like a really good level for it to continue so uh, if it can get down there that's where I'll be exiting um, and I don't often do this but if it is going to fail at this point I probably will come out near break even or if it gets back up above into the top end of this band for a reduced loss um, just because solely because 
I've seen the move that I wanted to see. So I got into this trade uh, because, you know, my plan, uh, my strategy, my back testing um, shows that this sort of setup should, or more times than not, produce a move in the direction of the setup, which we've had. Now, if it misses the target by a couple of points um, in this situation, where there is like a really good level below for price to carry on moving up and we miss it narrowly, then I'm not going to um, hold on to it. It's not a high probability target um, that I would hold on for. So I would just come out with, like I said, I would just come out the trade for either a break even or a reduced uh, loss um, if it is going to start coming up. But we are, uh, so we're getting close to the end of the hour as well, so we might get a little bit of action because of that. Um, but yeah, I will continue watching, and uh, if we get down there, I'll just manually close it out. Okay, so we're just coming down into that um, EMA that I was talking about earlier, so I'm going to close the trade there. Um, that's really all I was looking for. If I bring up the hourly chart, I can show you what I'm about. You see, actually, now we're just we're literally just poking through it as it stands. Um, and if we are going to get a continuation, this sort of level around this red line, um, this would be good for a bounce, obviously down towards the band as well, um, if you wanted to go that far. But we've got the 200 here, uh, yesterday's low, which is this red line, and then obviously the band that I've drawn in a little bit below there. Um, if it was going to bounce, that's that's not a bad place. And because we got in right at the top of this band, it gave us that little bit extra um, risk reward on the trade. You see, we had to move through all of this band uh, and the gap down to the next towards the next band uh, as potential reward. Whereas if we get in just below the band or at the bottom of the band, there's less reward on the plate for you there. Um, and so that that just puts us in a sort of privileged position of well, there's a 200 moving average in the way, there's yesterday's low in the way, there's an hourly untested ATMA. Let's just come out here. Um, so, a sensible decision, I think. Um, and, as always, I hope you found some use from this uh, this live trading video. Um, I try to explain as much as I can. I know some, some things really are just applicable to the particular strategy that I'm using, um, but to be honest, a lot of trading is what goes on upstairs and if you can if you've got a set of rules that's one thing but being able to implement those rules exactly to the t with discipline um that's a whole different ball game and uh that's where you you become good that's where you become profitable and successful if you can master that second bit anybody can can f follow up a set of rules potentially but can you follow them every time without fail under pressures when you're thinking I've had three losers in a row I really need this one to be a winner uh, it's coming up to my stop shall I move my stop a little bit I really need this one to win um, the market will test you in all kinds of situations and if you can stick to those rules and keep your discipline when things get a little bit tough then you definitely know that you're making progress it doesn't matter what strategy you're using the strategy is second to your ability to uh, actually put that strategy uh, into motion um, a good trader could make money from a strategy that doesn't give them much of an edge um, whereas a poor trader couldn't probably couldn't make money from a strategy that gives them a 99% edge over the long run because that 1% will get them so um, that's the goal and uh, really that's that's what I try to portray in these videos. You never see me get um, emotional or upset or elated at a winner um, because that's not that's not what you want to be doing. And it's easy for me to say that now. Uh, if you're new to trading, you are going to have these emotions. Please don't feel bad about if you feel sad after a loser or frustrated or angry or happy after a winning trade. By all means, you're human. You're going to do that. But... The more you trade, it's just that thing. Practice, practice, practice. The more you trade, the more losers you have, the more winners you have. These things become more natural and more systematic as you get better um, and more seasoned. So, um, yeah, a little bit of a, a rant slash takeaway. 
point for the end there. Um, have that as your goal, to become the systematic trader that can just follow their plan regardless of what the market is trying to, uh, to, to do to them, as some traders think. But yes, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you do like it, please do leave a like on the video. And if you do like these videos and the other content on the channel, please consider subscribing. Um, it really helps the channel. Thanks again, and I'll see you next week.